Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I built this wire trellis. It was literally so easy and so cheap, probably one of the least expensive projects I've done that has made this huge of an impact. So this one is done. I'm gonna show you from the beginning. So take a look at how it all became what it is today and make sure you hit that like and subscribe below. So I drew out my plan and this is the, the width and then the height, doing five hooks high and then nine across because the width is a little bit bigger because uh, I want taller diamonds. So this is kind of what we have planned. marked um, where all of the hooks should go. Oops, right there, right there. So all of these dots and the height, they're gonna be 16 inches apart. And then I marked it on here too. Um, you can't really see it, but there are these X's and those are going to be 11 inches apart. Mark the ceiling too. This is gonna be the only issue. Hopefully we can figure that out. So here's where I'm gonna be drilling. that far and then we're gonna get screws and just put it in here. So I just made the hole a tiny bit smaller than what the actual hook is so it fits in nice and snug but doesn't crack anything and this hurts my hand so A mistake I made early on was to not put a hook in each corner of the square I'm working with. It kind of messed me up. I had to go back and redo the pattern. So just make sure that your pattern is even. So take the needle nose pliers, take the end of the wire and wrap it around itself. Then cut off the excess wire you have and go to the other side, pull it taut and do the same thing. Like I mentioned, my pattern was a little bit off at first and what I was doing was wrapping the wire and attaching it right off the bat. What you should do is just cut enough wire and bend it around the hook on either side so it's not attached and you can move it and do that for the whole pattern then go back and twist everything so it's permanent. It was easiest to attach these screws to the wood, but if you have brick or concrete like I do, it's really just one more step in the process. What you'll wanna do is take a concrete drill bit and drill it the appropriate size for a concrete anchor. Pretty much looks exactly like a drywall anchor. Once you drill your hole, put the concrete anchor into the brick and gently tap it in place with a hammer. Then you're ready to put in your screw. That's it. Now all you do is plant your vines and wrap it around your new wire trellis. I hope you enjoyed watching just how this all came together. It was such an easy process that I highly recommend it. I started out with an idea beforehand that was going to be so much more expensive and I just decided against it for many reasons, but I'm so happy that this is what I went with and it has grown. You can see when I first put this in, the vines were just up to here and it is completely fully grown now. So it's super exciting that it's developed into what it is now and I'm just so happy with the end result.
So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button below and we'll see you next time. Bye.